Whether you like ref Aubrey or not, she has definitely left her mark on the pro wrestling scene. I can't remember the last time people were talking about a referee so much, so, we did some research and found out some interesting things about her. Let's start with. Number 10. How did she get started with All Elite Wrestling? Aubrey was a referee on the indie scene for a couple of years before things took a nice turn. During a show, she met future All Elite wrestler Frankie Kazarian. At the time All Elite wasn't a thing yet, but soon after that, the company was officially running, and she met him again on another show. After that, she was on the same show with many All Elite stars including the Young Bucks. One thing led to another and Aubrey ended up getting booked for double or nothing. She described the whole experience in a Chris Van Vliet interview, but more on that later. Number 9. Her career before All Elite Wrestling, Part 1. As we mentioned, Aubrey was mostly working indie shows, but she actually worked for WWE at one point too. Right before her one-year refereeing anniversary, WWE reached out to Aubrey, which led to her being a part of the Mae Young Classic Tournament. But before that, she had a tryout, and we've all heard some crazy tryout stories from wrestlers, but what about refs? Well, Aubrey's tryout consisted of some drills and training, as well as lots of DDP yoga. She eventually refereed a dark match on NXT and later became a part of the Mae Young Tournament. Number 8. Her career before All Elite Wrestling Part 2. As we mentioned earlier, Aubrey worked for various promotions including WWE, but refereeing wasn't her only job. Being a pro wrestling ref sounds fun, and I bet most of you would like to have this experience, but as if this wasn't cool enough, Aubrey was also a video game developer. I know what you're thinking, playing video games for money must be so much fun, but it's not all sunshine and rainbows. As Aubrey put it, imagine playing a broken video game for years until you get it right, only to discover that it needs more patches. She was involved with Nintendo DS games and she also loves playing video games in her spare time. Her favorite game is Legend of Zelda and it was the one that inspired her to follow that career path. As for her favorite system, it's Switch, but she also used to play Nintendo 64 and all the classic games. It's getting nostalgic here, so let's jump into, number 7. Her other ring name. It's common for pro wrestlers to work under several different names throughout their careers, but what about refs? Well, here's the catch. Ref Aubrey has also wrestled, and the best part is her ring name, which was Girl Hebner. In case you don't get this, Earl Hebner is a legendary referee and he was the inspiration for this particular name. Aubrey was describing the time when she met Earl and Justin Roberts. Justin goes, oh look, it's Earl and girl. Then, Aubrey explained the whole thing to Earl and he found it awesome. Number 6. How did she fall in love with pro wrestling? Edwards actually wasn't very familiar with pro wrestling until later in her life. She attended WrestleMania 27 and then she slowly started getting invested. What really caught her attention was CM Punk's pipe bomb, and she has also shared that her favorite wrestler was Daniel Bryan, which led to her searching about him, which led to finding out about Ring of Honor and the indie scene and the rest is history. Number 5. Some Referee Secrets by Aubrey. We all know that there's a lot of talking and hand signals going on during a wrestling match, and that it's a way to communicate without the fans knowing. Ref Aubrey has shared that she often talks with the wrestlers, especially during submissions where many times the refs inform the wrestlers about the time they got left. A ref's primary job is to ensure the safety of everyone involved, and all refs undergo special training for that. They have to know when to end a match or when to contact the medical team. They also have to be aware of all cameras, so that they don't get in the way, while simultaneously being able to see what's going on in the ring. You might think that that's not that hard to do, but it's very different when you are inside the ring, because oftentimes you are behind the wrestlers. Number 4. Some random facts about Ref Aubrey. Aubrey Edwards is a multi-talented individual and she also used to be a ballet dancer for 20 years. She eventually quitted, as it put too much stress on her body. Another cool fact is that she's friends with WWE's Ref Jessica Carr. She has mentioned that Jessica helped her a lot with her career. Another fact about her is that she's married. Her husband is wrestling on the indie scene under the name Dante Smythe. Aubrey described how they both wanted to get involved with pro wrestling around the same time. Her husband was 38 years old when he decided to start wrestling, and they both pushed each other to pursue their dreams because it's never too late. He's involved in 3-2-1 Battle, a local indie promotion in Seattle, and that's where Aubrey made her first steps as a ref. She has also refereed some matches with her husband being one of the competitors, resulting into a very interesting and funny dynamic, 
as they try their best to not break character. And now a fact about her diet. Many people involved in the pro wrestling business are vegan, including Daniel Bryan, The Bunny, also known as Ali, and also Ref Aubrey. Speaking of Ali, number 3. The things that are essential when traveling. When you're constantly on the road you might not be able to find what you want, so you must come prepared. Let's see what Ref Aubrey and Ali can't live without. Hi friends. Hi. You haven't been on the vlog in a minute. I feel like everyone I have today hasn't been on in a long time. I haven't. I think we were in Dallas last yeah. time. Mm -hmm. I had sparkles on my face. Yeah, I have flowers on my face now, so now. Yeah. yeah. I can't remember if I asked you this before, but I'm finding out what is everyone's um, road must have. Like what's something you, one thing you have to have every single we time. We did road. talk about this. Coffee no, in we the talked, morning. No, we talked about pre-match rituals. Pre-match so rituals, that's right. So what is the one thing I need to like have? Like you have to have it on you when you travel every single time. Oh boy, uh, can I bring it back to coffee? I travel with a little yeah. bottle of Yes, you said this Bustello. on the vlog. Yes. Yeah, like I do that's, too. that's my must have, be go-to. <laughs> and my yoga mat. I always bring a yoga oh, with Oh, see that's interesting, I didn't They know make that. yoga mats that fold up so you can stick them in uh, carry-ons because if you, the roll-up ones are too long for standard carry-on size. Yeah. Yeah, you can just get them on Amazon. That's amazing. Okay, I love that. I'm so glad I asked you because yeah. now I want one. Yes. Number two, her height, hometown, real name and more. Let's go through these real quick before we watch some funny moments featuring Ref Aubrey. I was under the impression that Aubrey Edwards might be her real name, but it's not. Her real name is Brittany Aubert and she was born on March 9, 1987, which means that she's 35 years old. Her hometown is Seattle, Washington and she graduated from DigiPen Institute of Technology. She's billed as 5 feet 7 inches tall or 170 centimeters. And now it's time for Number 1. Her YouTube channel. Ref Aubrey used to upload some of her in-ring moments on her YouTube channel, as well as some traveling vlogs, showing us the real side of working for the indie scene. It's so much more than just doing the shows. You have to travel for hours, getting on the same page with other wrestlers and refs so you can share a ride, all that while making very little money out of it. Aubrey has shared that many times people barely break even, and that's why she kept her other job until later in her career. Anyway, she's not active the last few years, but let's watch some moments from her old vlogs. Genius. Whoa! What? Ice cream truck! Look at it! Oh, dude! How many rockets This one? So this is incredible. Wedding, wedding. wedding photos, looks like? Yeah. A wedding some, photos? Some people get wedding, like get married at the peace start. I, I don't understand the draw of this place. <laughs> I mean, if like one of you is American, one of you is Canadian, I could see. Like, that would be a sense, really cool yeah. gimmick. Yeah, maybe you should focus on driving instead maybe of your you should shut up. internet gimmick. But, but, I like my show. Yeah, no, I like not being in car accidents. <laughs> <laughs> Fair. Fair point.